What up, Track Cat family? So another day, and I had some biz to handle earlier during the day. So y'all starting off kind of in the middle of my day. When I got home, I was like, damn, we've been doing so much with the cat. And I got to really looking at it, sitting in the garage. And I was like, this motherfucker is dirty. So I detailed the cat up. It's, it's already clean. I'm about to show y'all in a second. We've been doing a lot. We've been doing a lot with the cat, going to meets, doing different stuff, hanging out with the boys. I've also been doing a lot with the cat off camera that y'all haven't seen. And this motherfucker needed it. It was dirty. I wish I should have showed y'all before. I really, I should have showed y'all before. But it was dirty as fuck. Had to get the motherfucker right, all the way right. And I'm at a little spot right now where I can show y'all the cat. Roll a little montage of how clean it is. Y'all know we got that new wheel set up on the back. And when I put the tire shine on the back tires, <laughs> it really throw the extras on it. And I got this motherfucker cleaned up. I hit it with the uh, wax and shine after I hit it with the water. And then I wiped it down, make sure it was extra shiny. Hey, the main reason I wanted to get it right is for this week. I got a lot planned this week. Y'all know I've been posting damn near every day. I've been coming with it. Consistent gang, consistent trap cat in the motherfucking comment section. And I'm not stopping. Expect a motherfucking video from me every motherfucking day from now on. Huh, believe that. Consistent game. Now, that was also another reason I wanted to get the cat right. Is because I've been so damn consistent. The cat got dirty on me. I've been wiping it down here and there before taking it out. But that don't really do much. Sometimes you got to get in there and clean it. Hit it with some water. Hit it with some soap. Hit it with the wax and shine and really get in there. I had to scrub some damn tar. Y'all know the tire shine thing, and I'm using tire shine. I'm still using it. I'm putting it around, and I'm going with another towel, making sure it's real submerged in the tire. It still splats back. Fuck it. At this point, I'm not finna have my fucking tires dry. I'm not finna have my tires dry, and uh, I'm worried about some splat, when I could just work a little harder and get the fucking tar off when I'm cleaning the car. So, that's the motherfucking solution for that. And while I'm doing so much talking, let me show y'all what the kidnap looking like. Y'all know we got the shine on it. <laughs> we got this motherfucker looking nasty. Hold on. Bow. Motherfucker hitting. I ain't really got it pulled out too much in the sun. But it's also a good thing because it makes it look like it's tinted way more than what it is. Yeah. Got the shine on there. Let me show y'all get up close and personal. On this side, you can get a little bit more light. This motherfucker hitting. And I love the tint. I did good when I put the tent back. The wax and shine really does it right. <laughs> really does it right. Like y'all can really see that mirror effect in the painting. It really looked like I went and waxed in the garage and I didn't. I swear I didn't wax this motherfucker. Now, let's go ahead and roll a quick montage so y'all can really see, really see what it's talking about. Let me show you. So y'all see exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. I had to get it all the way dialed in for the week. All the way dialed in so we can ride and do what we got to do. And ain't really got to worry about the cat. Of course, I'm going to wipe it down, clean the rims. Might throw some more shine on. Wipe it down the paint, the windows. Just maintain it throughout the week, of course. <laughs> like y'all thought I wasn't going to maintain the motherfucker. But I ain't got to fully clean it. It's cleaned. It's detailed now. I ain't got to worry about it too much. I know y'all probably like, damn, what you mean maintain it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> that's why the motherfucker be so clean. I maintain it throughout the week after I detail the motherfucker. I might be going a little OD with that one, but I like to keep my shit clean and fly. Like I said last video, I want the cleanest and the flyest, the simplest build. I don't want to do too much to it. I'm not going to do the stickers, but I will clean the mess out of this motherfucker. Now, y'all see we got the cat all the way dialed in. It's ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to pull this motherfucker out right now. If we had to meet right now, we'd be there. <laughs> we'd be there. Like, I'm excited. Every time I clean a cat out, or not clean it out, I'm acting like I had a whole bunch of shit in the inside and I clean bottles and shit out. Every time I clean the cat off, or clean the cat, we're just going to say clean the cat, and make it feel like a brand new car, I always go too overboard and I start cleaning every little nook and cranny. I mean, damn, I done vacuumed the motherfucking floor. I didn't even show y'all. Hold on. I mean, every nook and cranny, I didn't vacuum the floor. I didn't even show y'all, but I vacuumed the floor and I also wiped down up here the steering wheel. 
And I mentioned me being consistent in the beginning. I'm loving this shit. <laughs> this shit is getting funner and funner. The more I get into it, I feel like like earlier today I was handling my business. And I was like, damn, I can't wait. I can't wait until I clean the cat up. Because I had in mind, I'm like, okay, I'm going to clean the cat up. Then I'm going I'm to tell them and show them and roll a montage. And I'm going to chop it up with them. I couldn't wait to chop it up with y'all. I was like, damn, I want to vlog. I want to vlog. I'm out handling some business. I'm seeing crazy cars and shit. And I'm like, damn, I wish I was vlogging. I wish I was talking to the Trap Cat family right now. And I could talk to them and show them that car and tell them what I think about it. Man, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to talk to y'all. And on that note, I can't wait to talk to y'all tomorrow. And I got something planned for us. Stay blessed. Stay positive. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. Love y'all.